hello guys and welcome back to our channel i'm Rady joy here today i'm going to share with you my skincare journey and how it has been so far and where am i in this journey everyone's skin journey is different i'm just going to share with you what i faced i definitely got acne when i was a teen you know secondary school i was like okay never mind let me just get some pimples it's part of growing up and i thought it was fine i thought it would just go away after my secondary school and then in jc it just got even worse could be a few reasons because i have a few bad habits of touching my face scratching my head and then touching my face so certain mistakes that i did that uh, made my skin this way i didn't wear sunscreen i didn't have a skincare routine when i was in secondary school you know i thought i was a brown skin girl and i won't get tanned i won't be affected by the sun and i was in a sports cc the only sunscreen i may have used was the you know that sports sunscreen it's like i just put it on my body but not my face jc i started using aloe vera like the gel this was the only moisturizer that i used in jc uh i didn't i still didn't use sunscreen i learned from my friends and the people who are around me and then i saw acne acne patches and i decided to use this and uh this oxy 5 and another one it's uh called nixoderm because my acne was super 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 bad this was what saved my skin like this was the most important thing that saved my skin it's a antibiotic called clindamycin since it's an antibiotic you're supposed to only use it until your acne or your pimples subside but no one told me that you shouldn't wear it after your pimples have subsided so i actually continued wearing this for like a year but nowadays i don't use it anymore but when i first started on my skincare within i think a month all the pimples that was on the cheeks actually went down so after jc i slowly learned what i can do with my skincare routine through youtube so certain people that i looked up to was hiram uh, dr dre the golden rx and dr vanita ratan so uh the thing is because i'm a brown skin person i looked up to golden rx and vanita ratan because they do mention skincare routine that are particular for uh, darker individuals like me i slowly saw those youtube videos and i I created a routine for my skin type. So my skin type is combi oily but I would mostly say oily. I was looking around for sunscreens and I just decided okay let me try this one. So the first one I tried was this. This is Claire's Everyday Sun Protector. There's also another one by Claire's which is the Midday Blue UV Shield. So I alternate between these two uh, sunscreen now because this is the uh, physical sunscreen and this is the chemical sunscreen. I think Dr. Vanita Rotan mentioned in one of her videos that the physical sunscreen is actually better for darker skin individuals. The hard thing about physical sunscreen is that it leaves a white cast uh, on a darker skin individual. But the thing is, I realized that with this sunscreen, when you actually take a bit and apply it slowly on onto your skin, it doesn't really leave a lot of white cast. So whenever I'm like going out with makeup or to a shopping center to get some things i actually wear physical sunscreen the thing of what i like about a physical sunscreen doesn't leave a very oily texture behind this actually gives a very dry texture and it can last the entire day this is like when i really have to go somewhere out I really want to look my best i don't want any white cars i'll wear this this is fine as well this one uh after a while it starts to get oily let's get to uh our morning routine since my skin is oily, I usually try to go with a moisturizer that is hydrating but doesn't leave an oily feeling behind. And now I'm using this aloe vera. I think you can find this in most of the pharmacy stores like Guardian Watson's Unity. I don't know why I feel like this is healing my skin. Partially because it has maybe because it has vitamin E. The last time I used to try this, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. But this had a lot of fragrance. For the moisturizer, uh, if I'm feeling like very fancy, use this toner. It's the Hada Labo Blemish and Oil Control Lotion. I like it, but um, I'm just I'm just getting lazy nowadays, and I don't see a need for me to wear this anymore. But I still wear it on occasions when I want to heal my skin. So this is the toner that I will wear. So after toner number one with the moisturizer if you know you're not feeling anything and you want to have basic affordable skincare you can just go with a sunscreen which is this physical sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen when you know you have enough money like for students when you maybe you're doing a part-time job and when you have enough money you can add niacinamide so this is the inky niacinamide uh 
or you can use uh, I was using the ordinary uh, niacinamide I would say I prefer this over this but both are okay you can try both so niacinamide helps with dark marks and also help with your uh, pore uh, appearance it wouldn't it scientifically doesn't shrink pores but it helps with the appearance of your pores and then uh, the other thing that I discovered right because I have hyperpigmentation this alpha arbutin uh, 2% with uh, hydronolic acid so this actually helps with the acne scars and lightens up the acne scars so this is a spot like morning spot treatment where I just put it on the on the places where I have uh, the dark marks on days that I feel very fancy I actually wear this vitamin C uh, serum by Wishran uh, but the thing is I didn't like the smell the oiliness oily feeling that it left behind so and the expiry date is very short which is six months for this if any of y'all can recommend for me a vitamin c that leaves behind a less oily feeling and doesn't smell do recommend me what i could i can try that's it that's all you need for your morning routine if you're starting out tip number one another thing that i learned was the difference between dermatologist tested and dermatologist recommended so in this it says dermatologist tested so dermatologist tested means that the dermatologist tested it but they may or may not have liked it so when it is recommended that means the dermatologists love it and they recommend it for everyone to use i love this cleanser it's called isentan it didn't feel very dry after washing it and it still felt like my skin was moist which is important and you shouldn't dry out your skin there is some fragrance but i i really think that it helped with my skin the other cleanser that i've been trying is this cetaphil gentle skin care cleanser so the thing that i like about the the isemtan one right is that when you're leathering up the soap it actually has like the suds and you feel like your skin is being washed but for this it doesn't foam up or doesn't have form suds okay, so if anyone who has like super dry skin i think i would recommend this as well and uh let's say i'm wearing makeup i will usually just use a acetone cleanser but i discovered that double cleansing is actually very beneficial for the skin so i decided to go and buy this class gentle black deep cleansing oil it's just a uh, oil where you put it with some water and you emulsify it to become milky white you just massage your face for like one minute and then wash it off and then you can use like a normal cleanser like the one i use is to just clean off the excess oil and make sure your skin is fresh for my night routine after washing my face with the asymptan or the cetaphil i go in with the aloe vera again so i moisturize with a lighter moisturizer which is this so after the moisturizer i'll go in with a uh, retinol which is for me it's called the adaplin it's a vitamin a and it helps with your dark marks and also your black heads and helps smoothen out the skin the pharmacist recommended me to wear it every day but i because i saw that my skin was getting very dry so i decided to just use this monday wednesday and friday after this you want to you know finish off your routine nothing fancy you can just use the cetaphil moisturizer i use this every day or you know and i feel like i don't want to use this i use Vaseline. Vaseline is amazing. I feel like my skin just feels super soft when I wake up in the morning. After that, you can go in with the oil. Sometimes I use this oil which is called rose seed oil. The reason why I bought it is because it helps with acne. I think it, it just smells a bit funny but other than that, I think it's amazing oil and if you're looking to use an oil, I think I would recommend you to use this. So for treatment wise, that means uh, whenever my skin breaks out or I feel like I want to make sure my pimple doesn't come back again, I use two different type of treatments. So one is this BHA 2% uh, liquid exfoliant. So this is a uh, acid that helps with the appearance of your pores and also helps with your acne and smoothens out your skin. So I wear this like twice, I try to wear this twice a week or at least once a week. I, I feel like it really helps with my black hair. And the other one is AHA and this is just a lighter form of BHA. And I use this to uh, also smoothen out the skin and it gives a very soft skin texture when you wake up in the morning. And that's it for this video. If you got any questions about this skincare products, you can write down in the comments below and also share with us in the comments what products you are currently using and or what products that you have seen in this video that you might try and i'll see you guys in another video bye